Welcome friends. In the last video we saw that we created another collaborator which is called as KUser2 to collaborate in our repositories existing on GitHub and Bitbucket. Now uh, we have two users KPrepare and KUser2 which can collaborate on a single repository. Those are residing respectively on GitHub and Bitbucket. So what we want to achieve uh, is uh, looks like something like this if we want to visualize it there is a repository which is existing on github so far we had a user k prepare which was able to push the changes into this repository and uh, he was able to push another change and another change and this repository was getting updated now we have another user which is known as kuser2 who can also push the changes to this repository so we have one repository here but we have two users kprepare and kuser2 now let's look how it will look like and how we can manage to work with multiple users on a single system we can use our tool called uh, uh, get extensions again for this same purpose let me open this tool here so we have checked out one repository now get concepts and we added uh, two uh, uh, remotes into it one is github and one is bitbucket now here if we go to settings And we go to get and we go to config we see that we configured our user here and get sure of the with this email and we also configured our merge tool and diff tool and character encoding yeah we uh, can see this information on our local directory into a directory called that is residing on your c drive under your user directory there will be a file called git config if you open this file your settings will appear here that is used by git and that you have configured here these settings are exactly written here that which is your merge tool what is your file encoding what is your git username email and everything that you configure here is stored in a file in dot git config now we want to use a different git config and uh, use it for git user 2 what we can do we can check out this repository again so I am just copying this path and we have so far checked out this code into git concepts. I will create another directory here for another user. In normal situations, both the users will be working on different computers. But here I want to show you how it looks like when two users commit. So I need to manage it on single system. But this is also uh, a, a new skill set that you can develop if you want to uh, work with different users on a single computer system. So one checkout I will use for user one, that is you K prepare. And second, I will check out into this directory, the code that will be used by the user two. So what I will do, I will go to get extensions. I will say control W to go to the main menu and I will say clone repository. And this time what I need to do is I need to provide my username here. When I am checking out the code from the GitHub. So normally 
the URL was not having this property. But I need to use it with key user too. So I am inserting this deliberately so that this repository knows that this the code is intended for user two. And in the destination, I can provide the new directory that I have created. That is this one. And I will say clone. So it is trying to open this. Now we have the same code, but in a different directory. Inside git concepts, there is git concepts or Java readme.md, and in git concepts user2, the same file is present there. Now what we want to change in this case, we are in the directory which is used by user2. What we need to do is go to settings and git config and now we can say that these settings are effective only for this local current repository that we are having right now. So what we can say here that we will use kuser2 to make the changes and uh, we need to provide the email here. So email I used for this user was this one. Editor I am giving notepad and merge tool I am giving as kdiff as previous. Diff tool will also be kdiff3 and check out as is and uh, check in as is. So I am not making any changes when I am checking out or checking in or committing. We already uh, saw that check in and commit are the same uh, terms used for the same thing. And we will use Unicode character here. So this is important to uh, mark here that we activate this option. Local for current repository. What does it mean that these settings will be only uh, applicable to this uh, repository we have checked out under git concepts underscore user two directory and it will not be effective globally so when we say apply here and say okay now if we want to verify this and know that what git has done with these settings so we saw that under users directory there was a git config file but if we go to in this repository there is a dot git uh, directory that is hidden if you want to see it you need to uh, enable uh, hidden items and if you go inside this there will be a config file if you try to open it this config file is having the settings that we have just made. What does it mean? That whenever we use the repository checked out under this directory, get concepts underscore user2, the user2 will be used to commit the code. In the next video, we will see how we can add the remote of Bitbucket for uh, user 2 as a user to commit the changes and we will also make a new branch and commit and see the commit history how the user 2 can uh, commit the change into the uh, repository git concepts that was only available to user k prepare to commit so far happy getting if you like the video 
please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.